Welcome back, folks, to Vibrations and Libations. I'm James. I'm Keith. And tonight we're going to be listening to the, probably in my opinion, the greatest unplugged album ever. It would be Alice in Chains Unplugged from uh, MTV Unplugged. And this is, um, like I said, it's, it's, in my opinion, even better than Nirvana Unplugged. A lot of people may uh, hear that and say, well, that's, that's insane. Nothing's better than Unpl uh, Nirvana Unplugged, but th this is it. So um, this is actually Keith's copy of it, and I need to get a copy. So maybe if he drinks enough tonight, he'll just forget it and leave it here. So. <laughs> Not going to happen, James. Also, I'd like to say thanks to Keith for uh, the uh, Chris Robson Brotherhood shirt that I'm wearing right now. He just gave it to me, and it's... Uh, it's pretty awesome. I meant to go online and order it. I didn't get there quick enough, and they were out of this shirt whenever I went online, and he, he pulled through for me. So yeah, what can I say? Pretty awesome. Got to take care of my boy. Yeah, thanks. I need taken care of. All right, and then tonight we're drinking um, Monic. I hope I'm saying that right. Monic Beer Company uh, IPA. Where is Monic nice. Beer Company located? Well, this would be right up the road, about uh, I don't know, a few miles up the road in Louisville, Kentucky. So, uh, kind of a local beer for us since we're here in Kentucky. Oh, he's got the Great House pour over here. He's got the Jameses. It doesn't want to come out of that can. It does not want to come out of that can. So, the first thing I will say about the beer is if you buy this beer and you open it up, you're going to want to have a towel or a paper paper towel or something to um, get it because this is what it's this is what's going to happen right here. It's going to foam up as soon as you open it up out of the can. So just kind of do it slow and I kind of have to do a slow pour to it. I'm not sure why it's got so much carbonation to it, but um, every one of these that I've had so far are all like that. So it's like a little bit of beer and all head. So I would have to give that um, a negative for the beer. So German Vienna malt, American Two Row Centennial Cascade Mosaic American Ale Yeast. That's a that's a mouthful. It might be even more of a mouthful than the head on this beer right here. So I'm about to get mine poured in. Yeah, it's 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 gonna take a minute. <laughs> that's that's for sure. Well, we'll talk about the album. For talk you. about the album then, Keith. What we got about the album? Uh, Unplugged was released as an album on July 30th, 1996. It was recorded on April 10th, 1996, at the Brooklyn Academy of Music's Majestic Theater. Yeah. And I think that's where they did all the unplugs, isn't it? And in course, the same place? Right. And Unplugged is MTV Unplugged. Right. For those of you who don't know, MTV <laughs> used to have some music on they it. They did. Yeah, because they used to have music. MTV stands for Music Television. Yes. But now they don't have music anymore. I don't know. I haven't watched MTV in years since they stopped having music. Right. Right, right. But the... Um, the album debuted at number three on the Billboard 200 chart and has been certified platinum as well. Yeah, yeah, as and it should be. I imagine more than once. Right. Um, on the April 10th, 1996, Alice in Chains resurfaced to perform their first concert in two and a half years. Crazy. And I mean, right, and we all know uh, Lane struggles with his uh, right. addictions. And um, that eventually he succumbed to this. Get upset every time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Great. Great vocalist. Probably. I mean, right up there. Maybe top two, three vocalists coming out of that whole grunge '90s alternative rock era, yeah. right there. I'm Him just, and Chris Cornell are yeah. neck and neck. Yeah. I mean, Chris Cornell's voice is so beautiful and powerful. Right. Lanes is the same way. Yeah. Lanes is so unusual, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> I mean, there's never going to be anybody sound like him, even though they try to copy. Right. Nobody's right. ever going to sound like him. No. It was uh, their one of their final appearances with Lane Staley before he died, and uh, um, it was the first time the band played as a five piece. Mm. So they they had um, a second guitarist, Scott Olson, with them. Mm. But you, you know, you mentioned that it was the first show they had played in what, two years, two and a half years, right. you said? And they kind of uh, make reference to that 
with like in between songs, you know, I was like, it's, I forget exactly what's said, but it's kind of like this is one of the best shows we've Yeah. Seen. And then somebody else says it's, it's the, the only, only show that we right. play. It was, it was Lane <laughs> saying that, the best, yeah. you know, and uh, I think uh, Cantrell, the only show. Right. Well, even, even in listening to this album, uh, I mean, you know, Lane is, like I said, just an awesome vocalist, but uh, Jerry, he, he was the backbone on this album, I think. You right, know, uh, right. For, for a lot of the songs. And, um, he was sick his, when they recorded this. Is that right? Yeah, he, he uh, ate a hot dog or something somewhere. <laughs> And swears he got food poisoning from oh, eating, wow. that, eating that hot dog, and well, uh, he was sick for this uh, entire you, performance. You still did a good job, so even you had food poisoning from a hot dog, so right. that's what it was. But uh, his, these two guys um, together as as vocalists are just a, a perfect match, right? You know, and. Allison Chains, you know, they've got their heavy stuff, they've got their more kind of mellow stuff on their on their regular albums. But their voices together uh, are, are just just amazing. I mean, I don't know of two other people that harmonize together from especially from this era, uh, like like these two do. And right. sometimes it's almost like they're the same person to me. It's, it, it sounds like who, which one is it singing here, and which one's singing there, and then they they just blend together so so well. And I think that's that's one of the things I like most about Allison Chains. Their music is awesome, their lyrics are great, but just the being able to harmonize together while still playing that heavy, you know, dirty, grungy sounding music. I see your beer is down. Mine has finally lost its head, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drink this a little bit of it. All right, so once you get past the all the head on it, I think it's a good solid beer. Right. It's got a it's got a nice color to it. It's kind of hazy, so I, and that's not too bad. It kind of gives it more of a body, I think. So um, it's not you know clear bubbly water for the most part, like some beers we've had in the past. Right. Uh, but this stuff, like I said, it's made out of Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, the ABV on it, alcohol by volume 7.7, .7, and the IBUs that I looked up is 64. Um, if you're a Beer Advocate website fan, the score on Beer Advocate is an 86, which is very good compared, uh, a very good rating for them. And uh, the only negative thing I really have to say about it is just opening it up. Right. It just foams like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So, for it being an IPA, it does have that kind of floral taste to it. Yeah. Um, but it's not. It's not overpowering. It's not. It's, it is a. It's a clean finish. Yeah. For me, I like it. Yeah, I think I. I, I guess I'm just getting to be more of an IPA fan. I guess I, I don't cringe as much whenever I drink. So yeah, I don't either. Doing these videos, we've done quite a few IPAs. They, they don't bother me as much as they used to. I'm still a stout guy, but uh, I haven't had as many of those so, here lately. So maybe I'll. You're going get like back me. Into it. It'll be a seasonal thing. It'll be a seasonal thing, yeah. yeah. That's right. That's right. Okay, so Allison Chains Unplugged. I've had this on CD. I, I don't have it Don't have it on vinyl yet, but I, I do need to get that. So did you get this online or did you buy it at a record store or what? Where'd you I bought find that online. It? Bought it online. Okay, yeah. So. So good luck with it. Wasn't messed up when you bought it. No, nope. it came in. That's good. That's good. So on this album, what's your favorite song? My favorite song. Oh, it's hard to say. Yeah. But uh, Nutshell's great. Right. Um, no excuses. I love that one. But it have to be got me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's a good one. And that's uh, a really good one. Yeah. Everybody just sounds so good on that yeah. song. What's the rest of the songs on here? We didn't go through the track listing. Okay. Nutshell, Brother, mm -hmm. No Excuses, Sludge Factory, Down in a Hole, Angry Chair, Rooster, right. Got Me Wrong, Heaven Beside You, Wood, Frogs, Over Now, and The Killer Is Me. The Killer Is Me was the first time they ever played that song live. Yeah. I love 
um, Heaven, Heaven Beside You, that's my favorite song on the track. Uh, Down in a Hole is an awesome song anyway, but it's a, it's a great version on this as well. And uh, I like Sludge Factory. Yeah. I like, I like yeah. that song a whole lot. I can listen to this album. And uh, which, you know, I've had it, I've got it on CD and I listen to it. I stream it and stuff a lot. But that that song, it'll it starts out at first. I'm always kind of like, eh, and then it, once it gets into it, it, it gets stuck in my head. Yeah. Time after time after time when I listen to it. So uh, that, it's it's a it's a good solid song. Um, but overall, the the thing I think most about this whole album is not necessarily the songs. It's just the fact that they got back together to do this show, and, and they mentioned that they wanted to do Unplugged for you know a long time, right? In, in between songs, but just the fact that they were able to get back together to do this show and uh, just it, it, it's a magical performance. I think. I do it too. Really, it's, is. it's a magic moment. And of, of course, uh, on the back here, you can see that uh, kind of the candles everywhere, and it's how the mood is set. And that was Lane's idea for those candles. As a matter of fact, not only was it his idea, but he went and bought those candles <laughs> wow. himself I didn't know for, that. That, for the show. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's that's pretty cool. It, it, Watching it on, like if you watch clips of it off of YouTube and stuff, it's, you know, you can just get lost in it. And you can see that he is not really doing well in yeah. that performance. Yeah, he's, you know? he's not healthy. Yeah, he's not healthy. Yeah. Um, but, you know, uh, still powerful. Still delivered right. a powerful performance. I have the, the DVD, yep. and it's fantastic. Watch it, and, and like um, they mess up on uh, which one is it? Um, I can't remember which one it is. But they had several takes of several stop songs, you know, watching the DVD and everything, and it's cool to see all that and kind of right. the, the back and forth between the band. I love it when bands mess up. And yeah, you see that stuff, and it's real, you know. Right. It makes for golden. Yeah, yeah. And if they don't have that on the album. I right. guess you know. Right. You don't hear that on right. the album. Alright, right, so we're not going to rate the album because the album's just badass. It's a classic album and it always will be. It's not only for Alice in Chains fans, but just for unplugged acoustic music fans. It's, it's, it's just a great acoustic album. Right. So, the beer. How about the beer? You want to rate the beer? The beer? The beer, I'll give it four out of five. I'll give it a four out of five. I think it's, uh, it's, it's a good, refreshing beer after the head is gone on it, but uh, uh, if you can get past that, it's 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 a good drink. I I would really like to try it on tap somewhere. Maybe if uh, we ever took a road trip to Louisville, we could go to the place and try it out. Right. I'm sure there's lots of different beer places in Louisville, but this would this would definitely be one of the things I would be looking for if I was going to Louisville. So if you can find a six pack of it, excuse me, it's reasonably priced here anyway. I don't know how far they distribute out, but. Um, I think it was like $8.99 for a six pack of this. So That's not bad at not, all. Not bad. Not for bad. For craft brew? Right. You know, used to paying $12, you know, for a yeah, six pack. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, and uh, speaking of just craft brew in general, I've been seeing some uh, new uh, Free Floyd stuff getting ready to be sent out. So, uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it had a pretty cool label on it. Me and Keith are always suckers for cool labels. Right. Have you seen the, the collaboration with like uh, Three Floyd, Sun King, and somebody else? I have not. But they, it's like you, it's like a six pack, and you turn the box, and it looks like a, a semi truck. Oh, really? You know, pictured all the way around it. You gotta keep spinning it to see the whole thing. We'll but, have to. We'll have to find that. It's yeah. cool. All right, so what else we got to talk about here? I think that's it. All right, we're gonna listen to the rest of this album. Yes, yes, and if you want to listen to the rest of the album, you'll have to listen to it yourself because we're not gonna keep it going that long. So this is the one. This is the song that they messed up on. Oh, okay. I had to redo. Yeah, I, I'll have to borrow the DVD from you sometime. Sludge, Sludge Factory. Sludge Factory. Yeah. yeah. I have to borrow the DVD from you sometime. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Leave us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you uh, liked or did not like the video. Leave us some comments and uh, tell us if you like Alice in Chains and who your favorite Unplugged performance is. And uh, find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, 
all the normal places. We're out there on the interweb, so just look us up. We appreciate you watching some of the past videos as well. So right, so go watch them again. Watch them again and again and again. We 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 would love that. So right. So for vibrations and libations tonight, I'm James and I'm Keith. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.